In this video, I will talk about my first 40 months as a Linux user and Linux user only. I will also talk about why I think Linux and my current distro of choice are very good alternative to Windows or Mac OS as an operating system. So 40 months have passed since I ditched Windows and switched to Linux. Congratulations, you, me. First, I installed Linux Mint and I was thrilled. The new operating system gave me a sense of freedom and flexibility I never felt in Windows. And I was a Windows user since 1993 and Windows 3.1. Soon I discovered I had so many options and ways to go that almost got me lost. But I loved the vast rabbit hole that Linux world actually is. The downside is that if you lack discipline, you would fall into the pit called distro hopping. And fall I did, almost. After first using Linux Mint for around a year, I used Ubuntu Mate for about a year too. Then I used Debian for more than half a year and I had a Dev1 distro installed on my system for five months. Since February 2023, I went back to Debian where I intend to stay. I'm done with distro hopping, although I must say that I am really impressed with all the distros that I've used so far. Linux Mint, Ubuntu Mate, Dev1, and Debian. They're all great. So let's talk about Debian. Debian is one of the best Linux distros around, period. It's been around for 30 years, and thus is one of the oldest still active Linux distributions. Debian is not as polished as Linux Mint or Ubuntu Mate. It doesn't have a graphical update manager as many others, and it doesn't hold your hand when you need help, so it is a bit rough around the edges. That's why Debian is not suitable for complete Linux newbies. Not that it is not possible, but you will have to be willing to figure it out, and it requires oftentimes the use of the terminal. Debian's package manager apt advanced package tool is arguably the best one we have in the linux universe it is logical it is fairly fast and it always gets its job done it is really one of the main reasons to use debian or its many hundreds of derivatives including ubuntu mint mx linux elementary pop os and so forth i'm currently using debian testing although i usually use the stable version However, Debian 12, also known as Bookworm, is right around the corner. So my system will become stable version and I will stay there maybe for a year and then transcend to testing again once the packages in stable repositories become a bit oldish, right? The thing with Debian is that it is very conservative when it comes to stability. It means it doesn't have newest and coolest versions of its packages in its stable repositories. This is probably one of the main reasons why many don't consider using Debian as their daily driver. I personally don't mind much because I prefer stability over newest packages. Besides, I also use app images when I need newest packages or some special software that isn't in Debian's repositories. I can use my preferred applications like Joplin, which is an app image, LibreOffice Writer for formatting my writings, Signal for secure chatting and messaging, Audacious for audio files and music, Simple Screen Recorder for simple screen recording, Firefox for net surfing, MPV for video playing, and Emacs for writing. By the way, Steam works like a charm in Debian testing, and so do games I play. Currently, Europa, Universalis 4, Generation 0, Infested Planet, and Supreme Commander 2. In my opinion, Proton is one of the best things that happened to the Linux community in the last decade, and even more. I remember trying Fedora in 2003 and Ubuntu in 2004, and I was so thrilled how easy it was to use back then when Linux wasn't the most accessible operating system. And I really wanted to use it, but the lack of apps, especially graphic ones and games, kept me away from switching, even dual booting. Well, until 2019, when I finally had a leap of faith and jumped into the ocean of Linux. And Proton is still getting better and it supports more and more games that only a couple of years ago we only could dream of playing in Linux. 
I mean, just visit ProtonDB.com and see for yourself how many games and how many great games you can play in Linux. Debian is cool. It stays out of your way. And in combination with Cinnamon desktop environment, it is a stable platform for a user who likes a rock stable operating system that doesn't spy on you. It doesn't share your data. And at the end of the day is one of your best digital imaginary friends you have around. So here are my reasons to choose Debian and Linux really. Number one, it's Cinnamon desktop environment. Its design and visual looks resembles somewhat Windows 7. And I think it is a strong point of Cinnamon. It is very intuitive, much more than Windows. And you always know where to find things in system settings. You want to change wallpaper? It is there. Want to change looks and themes? It is there too. Want to change firewall settings or keyboard? Layout? No problem. It is in system settings. And in Debian testing, you will find the latest Cinnamon desktop version, which is at the moment 5.6.7. And tip for all gamers in Cinnamon, please disable compositing for full screen windows and your graphic card will thank you. You can find it in system settings under general. File manager. As a part of Cinnamon, Nemo is its file manager. It is well organized, uncluttered, unlike some other file managers. It has nice folder overview on the left and it is a pleasure to navigate with it. And it has also an ability to connect to a server via SSH, FTP, Windows Share, and WebDAV. Package Manager. Debian's legendary package manager is called App, stands for the Advanced Package Tool. It is actually a collection of tools used to install, update, remove, manage software packages in Debian's system. It is also used on so many of its derivative distributions, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop! OS, Zorin, and many more. I have tried other package managers like Pac-Man, DNF, and Zipper, but in my mind, none of them beat Debian apt and its flexibility, robustness, and accessibility. Themes. Maybe you don't like the default looks of Cinnamon. I know I don't. It is super easy to remedy that. Either you time themes, the start menu, or you open system settings and find themes there. I have some themes and icons that always follow me. No matter what distributions I use, they are Mint themes, Adwaita, Nordic, and Yaru themes. Of icons, I always use and install New Waita Reborn, Kogir, and Cora. Once I place theme under User Share Icons and Themes, it is easy to change the looks of your Cinnamon desktop environment. Stability. Nothing really beats Debian's rock stability. Evil Tonks would say it is because its applications are ancient. I disagree. They are old, yes. But do we really always need latest version of some application that we use? I don't think so. And if you do, you can try your luck by using Debian's backports or simply run semi-rolling release testing or even unstable if you're a bit adventurous. At the moment, I'm running Debian testing, and so far, it is a win-win. I have newer package and software, and it is as stable as the normal version. Flexibility. With Debian, you have a choice to either go minimal or install, full-fledged distro with everything you need and beyond. With some tech skills, you can do this with pretty much any Linux distribution, but Debian gives you this opportunity straight away. I usually install minimal Debian without any desktop environment or window manager, and then I slowly start building it up. First, base system, then core Cinnamon packages, and then at the end, all the applications I use daily, something like Joplin, LibreOffice Writer, Audacious, Gedit, Signal, Firefox, and stuff like that. And finally, history and legacy. Debian has got history. It has legacy. It's been 30 years since Debian was born. It's one of the first Linux distributions. And today it's a base distro for so many distributions that it is almost impossible to count. 
I like its continuity and structural and organizational robustness. On top of that, I really enjoy Debian's code of conduct. It is open source. It is always free, as in freedom and beer. Debian doesn't hold your hand all the way. So that's why it is not really a distro for a newbie. But if you're willing to stick with it and learn how the system works, you will truly appreciate Debian and everything it stands for. I know I do.